Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I am going to show you gameplay and best setting for Super Mario Odyssey, the Nintendo Switch game. For some reason, my thing trying to focus in and out a lot. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to show you best settings and gameplay. I've got a set of videos covering Reading and Yuzu. I recommend the Yuzu emulator for Super Mario Odyssey. Performance is better on there. This video is not condoning policy. I own this game and it is for educational purposes. You can feel free to check out my set of videos. Again, I recommend Yuzu for this game. And there's a steep compatibility list as well. So for best settings, put GPU to normal. You can just press it with your finger. Put handheld mode and select bilinear. No AA. And now, if you click the free dot button and in the performance mode, just select FSR and select FSR and go to 5. I find that gives you the best sort of you know, quality, best picture. And now one last thing, in emulation, go to configure, go to audio and select SDL2. For the audio, apart from that, we're all good to go. You can play. I've got a PS4 controller connected and motion works as well out of the box, which is fantastic. So they, it is just great, this emulator. I am really impressed with this emulator so far. So we're getting mid 40s frame rate at the moment. I find what, as you play, the frame rate does get better and does get closer to 60. It's basically what it's doing is, you know, new shaders get compiled and, you know, as areas have loaded up. Uh, but, you know, overall, it's definitely a very playable experience. And you know, in Ryu Jinx, so they're doing stuff like that, triggering that, it just really knocks the frame rate down. Whereas on this, it doesn't knock it down, not in any meaningful way. Let's have a look at the view. And see, with all that, even then, lowest went to was mid. For it, as we, you can see, we're getting 60 now. Less stuff getting rendered. So yeah, this is definitely a game that can run at 30 frames a second. And depending on what part of the game you're in. And once the game, you know, loaded a bit. You know, like in this area, I, I generally get, you know, 60 frames a second. What I love doing is this. One second. Oh, one second. Ah, no. As you can see, in the water, in Ryujin, it would just literally knock right down. Grab the frog. Let's get these wings as well. The rings of power. So I'm in the gaming mode on Steam Deck, not in desktop mode, but you can play from desktop mode. I found the performance from desktop mode is very good as well, so either way it's fine really. Obviously it's just easier in this mode. So here you'll notice the frame rate drop a tad as you're going up the hill here in a second, especially with the coin. I see a lot of coins, so obviously it's just, it is making it drop, but overall still a very playable experience. The boss is something, I'll skip the boss, the, just the music. Like the boss is something that on the... On Ryu Jinx, it really just, you know, lags the bad, but as you can see, we are getting cool 360. So yeah, you, there will be moments where you get only where you only get like mid 40s to 50 but a lot of the time you'll get 60 so yeah this you can run super mario odyssey one of the creme de la creme games even after all these years on your steam deck one thing i will say 
bear in mind when you play the emulators of Henry Reading and Yuzu, you will get the occasional crash. And I found that irrespective of game, I mean, in general, Steam Deck crashes now and again anyway. So it's, I'd say, it's not necessarily. I keep trying to focus in and out. I'll say it's really less. Obviously, the frame rate's down there, so sorry, let me turn on the frame rate in here so you can see it as well. That was my bad. Let's get cutting. So this frame rate drops when you know there's a lot rendered, but in game, I find it pretty darn well playable. So, yeah, love saying, you know, you're gonna get drops here and there, I mean crashes, that's the name of the game, especially with a new console and especially when you're doing emulation stuff, uh, you know, through a system as new as the Switch, or for it to be running this well, and yeah, so if you crash, you just lose the game back, and unfortunately, there are no safe states, so you can't leverage that feature. I remember getting this for the first time, it's like the feeling I had getting the stars in Super Mario Galaxy, oh my god. I know this is kind of like Super Mario Galaxy 3, but I wish they would do it like a Super Mario Galaxy 3, because especially the mind-bending way they had their levels on there. Skip cutscene. If you look at the water, there's a lot going on. Yeah, we get dropped in the mid 40s, 50s. I said overall. Can I skip this? Nope. Yeah, look how old I'm, we'll see the shift looks compared to you know, later on. It's all like nice and red. There you go, I'll wrap up there. So that's the best settings, gameplay as well of Super Mario Odyssey on the Yuzu emulator. Feel free to check out the Steam compatibility list where I'll show you all the games that I'm testing, the recommended emulator, recommended settings as well. And let me know in the description, I mean in the comments, what video you would like to see next. In the description, I'll also have links to the YouTube videos for setting up the Switch emulators. It's not too difficult at all. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Also, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you get notified and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.